Home to over 300 vendors, the Castries Market is a familiar place to locals, vendors, and tourists alike. Home to items such as fruit, vegetables, herbal medicines, and more, this hotspot comes with a variety of history and familiarity to those who know it and, moreover, those inside it. Today, we explore the history and see a few experiences behind the Castries Market. Constructed by Bryce and Still Limited, construction of the marketplace began in 1891. It wasn't until 1894 the marketplace is opened to the public. It slowly began to be filled with vendors, bars, manicures, restaurants, and taxi stands nearby. From political gatherings in 2016 to revamping in 2020, the Castries Marketplace has seen its fair share of events throughout its history. This is L'Histoire du Marché. To get a feel of what the regular market life is like on a day-to-day -day basis, we asked the vendor what their regular day selling at the market is like. Well, I work from like 8 o'clock, after 8, eh? let's say after 8, minutes to 9 I work. And I live there like this, that time going up to after 5. From an outside perspective, the Castries Market has always been home to locals, whether it's shopping or passing through. Interested in their take, we asked them about an interesting memory they've had at the market. Well, basically, during the week and the weekend is different because you find on weekends, majority of the farmers themselves comes up to sell the produce. So you will find it's, the rates are different, especially the prices. Like, um, let's say you'll get some more plantings for your money, you'll get a little more dashing for your money also. But during the week, what you find, majority of the vendors, they buy out to come and sell in. So you'll find some of the items are reduced on and some of the prices are ridiculous. In 2020, the marketplace received a makeover of a lifetime. There was a revamp which extended the market, making it so that 100 more vendors could be included in the market life. This was also made so that pre-existing vendors could work in comfort. Them fellas that do that are kind of weird. They even had to break it down, the top down, eh? and just leave the shape because them man just doing things, but they don't really look for people that's professional, that know, what that know what they're about, you know, and that was the problem again. If you see the idea to the tree, if you have to go on that, you have to put a bench on your feet. So now they break it down, but the city council is not ready yet, man, I like to tell you, man. There's a lot of bad things going on, a lot of things going on inside of it. Like all places, there are both good and bad memories of the marketplace. Like everything else, we had to get an experience about this too. Well, like now, we have a lot of negative experience here with city council. Yeah. Um, have you had any bad experiences on a buying end? Well, not really because I have family members there, so whatever bargain I get from them, I just take it. This is the life of the Castries market. The bustling cities, the haggling, and the hassling. To many of us, this is familiarity. This is our home. This is l'histoire du marché. <laughs>